I'm now going to show you how to wire in a two-wire decoder into the Netafim two-wire uh, NLCD controller. This is the decoder that has been pre-programmed at the controller. That is a must. These are not programmed on the two-wire path. They're programmed at the controller before you actually bring them out to the field. The process is the blue wires always go to the two-wire path. So I'm going to use Lyman's, Lyman's pliers. I'm going to be doing the twisting of the conductors just like this. As I twist, I'm actually pulling away so I have a, a real nice connection. I'm going to snip off any waste here. And you notice I did not use did not use the wire nut to do the twisting. I'm now going to put the wire nut on. Do not use the wire nut to twist your wires together. Okay? So now you can see that I have the wire twisted on and I have a wire nut. I'm now going to be putting a gel cap and you got to make sure that you push it all the way down so it locks at the bottom of the gel cap. And then I'm going to spread the wires and I'm going to seal the top. So now I'm going to wire in the other blue wire to the communication. I'm going to use the Lyman's pliers to twist it together. Now I'm now going to put the wire nut on. Do not use the wire nut to twist your wires together. Okay? And now I'm going to insert into the 3M DBY connector all the way down to the bottom until it checks. And then I'm going to spread the wires and I'm going to seal the top. The next process is I'm going to be wiring the white wires. They always go to the valve. We need to do the last one to the solenoid. There's two white wires and two blue wires. Twist it on with the Lyman's pliers. Use the 3M DBY nut. And I'm going to install it in the gel cap again. So now I have a properly installed field decoder with the two blue wires going to the communication and the two white wires going to the solenoid. Okay, so final and most important is everything that's ever connected to the two-wire path needs to be installed in a uh, valve box. And in this case here, we're going to take these wires and the gel caps and the decoder and we're going to neatly put them in the valve box around the valve. And I always like to keep the decoder on top so you, when you open it up you can see exactly what you're looking at. In this case here, you'll notice I'm looking at the normally open master valve. I'm going to take the valve cover box going to put it over the top, properly installed field decoder.